For every good story, there are even better stories that mostly go untold. This is one of them. This is Mikey, your average American cigar smoker, happy-go-lucky and hard-working. He always finds a little time to enjoy one of life's great pleasures. For him today is one of those days, an opportunity to sit back and enjoy a cigar. As luck would have it, an old friend of Mikey's, Eric Jr. of Espinosa Cigars, along with the rest of the Espinosa Cigar Crew, have stopped by the store for an impromptu smoke. The chance to catch up with an old friend is truly one of life's great moments. While catching up, Eric's father, Eric Espinosa of Espinosa Cigars, begins passing out a few of his celebrated blends. Today it's the 601 La Bomba. Mikey, curiously, has to try the notoriously strong cigar. However, Eric Jr. thinks it's a bad idea. Not only do you think it's a bad idea, he is insistent that Mikey stick to his lighter, more conventional smoke. However, Mikey rejects the notion that he can't hang and takes the challenge anyway. All Eric Jr. can do is watch and hope Mikey hasn't bitten off more than he can chew. After a brief nap, Mikey awakes, the victim of both La Bomba and his stubbornness, dazed and confused, and not to mention marked to remind him of his adventure. Mikey storms out. Mikey can't believe that this cigar actually put him on his ass. He drives away from the shop, both angry and obviously embarrassed at what has happened to him tonight. But Mikey is too caught up in the moment, paying too much attention to how he looks in the rearview mirror, and not keeping his eyes on the road. As all of us can attest, there is nothing more sobering than red and blue lights in your rearview mirror. It's all fun and games until the police show up. Can this night get any worse for Mikey? Panicked and a little desperate, Mikey reaches for his cell phone and reaches out for the one guy that got him into this mess. A desperate plea for help from the one guy who told him not to smoke La Bomba. Mikey needs a lifeline and he needs it quick. Feeling a little guilty, the crew heads out to render Mikey some assistance hoping to get there in time. Mikey is about to meet the long arm of the law. And the long arm of the law doesn't look pleased at all. Mikey's a good kid. He's never been in this kind of situation before. He's not used to dealing with cops. After exchanging pleasantries, Mikey tries to explain to the police officer what happened. The officer assisted Mikey out of the car. The officer escorts Mikey to the rear of the vehicle so he may be more comfortable during the field interview. He was also fitted with some complimentary wrist bracelet. Upset and a little uncomfortable, attempts to tell the officer that he isn't drunk or on any substance, that he has simply had a strong cigar. Though he had never been arrested before, Mikey knew that going to jail with red lipstick on his face was not an ideal situation to be in. Mikey's prayers are answered as Eric Espinosa and the rest of the Espinosa crew arrive at the traffic stop. The officer asks them for a second to place Mikey comfortably in the back of his cruiser. Eric begins to explain to the officer that it was just a big misunderstanding. The kid was just having a cigar. It was just a little bit too strong for him. The officer, a cigar smoker in his own right, said that he had never seen anyone fall victim to a strong cigar. When asked for his cigar preference, the officer stated that he enjoys a nice, mild Connecticut cigar. The Espinosa crew can't help themselves and chuckle at the officer's response. The officer, already irritated, doesn't take too kindly to their laughter. Eric offers the officer La Bomba. Everybody's different, but unless you've tried what Mikey smoked, you won't understand what he's going through. Mikey shakes his head. He knows the officer has no idea what he is getting himself into. He wants to warn him, but he figures that sometimes you gotta let a man be a man. and yet another one bites the dust. And figuring that he will understand when he wakes up, the Espinosa crew hastens Mikey's release. For Mikey, freedom has never felt so good. So what's the moral of our story? If you're going to take La Bomba Challenge, bring a friend. Just make sure he doesn't have any permanent markers with him.